All right. Joining us now is Julia Manchester, a reporter from The Hill. I've been taking a lot of deep breaths as we discuss some of these topics because it's like the song that never ends. Uh, Julia, you were at uh, Terry McAuliffe's rally last night with President Biden. Of course, uh, the Virginia race, one that we're closely watching. What are you hearing from voters on the ground at that event? Well, Adrian, from voters on the ground at that particular event, I think there was a feeling of enthusiasm, but at the same time, nervousness. Look, I don't think a lot of Democrats in Virginia expected this race to be this close after years of Democrats really starting to shore up support in Virginia. So you're seeing more enthusiasm on the Republican side, according to polls. But I think from what we're hearing with the emergence of Biden, Barack Obama, Stacey Abrams, First Lady Jill Bill Biden on the campaign trail. Democrats in Virginia are hoping those figures will essentially help wake up their base ahead of Election Day. I think it's important to point out this is an off-year election. Um, think about it this way. Uh, this time last year, we weren't talking about the Virginia gubernatorial no. race. However, right now, we're talking about the 2022 midterms. So I think voters are really starting to wake up to the fact that this is a crucial election. It is a crucial election. It could have a ramifications across the country for either party. Obviously, there are advocacy groups pouring their money into both these candidates' campaigns. Let's start with Terry McAuliffe. Uh, what organization is supporting him right now? Terry McAuliffe has a number of liberal organizations supporting him, obviously. Planned Parenthood Action Fund um, in Virginia, obviously one of those major um, uh, pro-choice organizations supporting him. Terry McAuliffe has really tried to make abortion a major issue in this race. So the Planned Parenthood Advocates of Virginia very much trying to push their pack into supporting McAuliffe, launching a six-figure ad buy. You also have a number of unions, uh, the National Federation, the American Federation of Teachers, Teachers have been running ads for McAuliffe. Obviously, this issue of education and parents' rights has been an issue. Republicans have been going on the offensive in recent weeks. So you have uh, liberal teachers' unions very much trying to back McAuliffe. Um, you also have a number of pro-science organizations, um, such as 314 Action, which is very much trying to uh, push McAuliffe's message of responsibility during the pandemic, the importance of getting a vaccine and wearing a mask. All right, Julie. Manchester reporting for us uh, from Washington. Thank you so much. And again, nobody could even come close to calling this one. It's just <laughs> too tight.